Welcome back to part five in the series here of the platinum refining. I've got our metal rendered back into metal with zinc. The advantage of zinc is that it works quickly. The disadvantage is that if there's other metals in there, that they too will precipitate out. So now what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do here is dissolve the metal one more time using aqua regia. I'm adding 250 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And now what we'll do is set this back up on the uh, hot plate stir. Let's start stirring. When I say we had some success, the last time we dissolved this stuff was that we had it in metallic form like we have it here right now and we dissolved it with aqua regia and iridium I believe is the black residue that got left behind so that gave us some separation the platinum went into solution with the aqua regia the iridium stayed behind so that's why we're going to try to dissolve this again with aqua regia and add about 50 milliliters of nitric acid one more time here what we're trying to do is platinum does not like to dissolve in aqua regia but in this finely divided state it should go into solution with the hot aqua regia relatively quickly and simply with the iridium not being soluble not being very soluble in hot aqua regia hopefully we'll get left behind after this reaction is complete and then we can remove more of the iridium from our platinum solution now iridium is not supposed to be soluble in aqua regia but some of it's going to go into solution with the platinum and as i pointed out in a previous video some of the platinum will probably get left behind with the iridium these metals are very difficult to separate because they're so much alike that they tend to follow each other it's been on the heat now for about 15 minutes and so what we're going to do now is crank this heat up and boil the solution see if we can get that platinum to dissolve in the hot aqua regia this is about a two and a half hour time lapse, boiling the solution down to evaporate off all the liquid. And uh, we should have sufficient aqua regia in there to dissolve all the platinum, put it in solution. You'll notice that the uh, fumes start to clear up here and go away. But then as the solution boils down and starts to thicken, the fumes reappear. Notice how it's sticking to the walls of the beaker as it stirs. And now what we're gonna do, I've got some hydrochloric acid here. I'm going to rehydrate the boiling solution with hydrochloric acid. And this is the best example I've ever seen of the uh, nitric being driven off. Watch as we add that acid. Look at those fumes evolving from that hot liquid. And so, what we have here is what this should be is the excess nitric acid being driven off as we rehydrate it with the hydrochloric acid. I've allowed that solution to evaporate back down to a syrup again. And we're going to repeat the denoxing. Here I'm adding some more hydrochloric acid. Notice those fumes evolving. It's really apparent that there's an excess nitric in there uh, because of those fumes that are produced when we add or when we rehydrate the solution, the hot solution, with that hydrochloric acid. This is the second uh, evaporation and denox.
I've evaporated the solution down a third time. And what we'll do now is uh, add some more hydrochloric acid to rehydrate. If you notice here, there's hardly any fume production at all. And that's a pretty good indication now that we've got all of the excess nitric expelled from our precious metals in solution. Now that we've successfully denoxed the solution, denox means remove all the excess nitric. Now that we've got all the nitric out of there, we're gonna pull it down, let it cool. I've allowed this to cool completely now. I've removed the stir bar. So now what we'll do is we're gonna yeah, there's definitely some black powder down on the bottom of there. Let's go ahead and try to filter this out right quick. I've got all the liquid pulled through there now. I think what we'll do is pour the uh, liquid back through the same filter a second time. Get a little bit on a filter paper here. Do a Stannis test. Just see what we got. How it's looking. It's definitely bright orange, which indicates platinum. I've worked with palladium before. This looks just like palladium like coffee however when working with these metals it can be deceiving just like ferrous sulfate in gold refining ferrous sulfate looks just like gold in solution we might have something in here that's creating this platinum or causing this platinum solution to look like palladium and it's not even palladium in there so Stannis test says platinum look at the liquid coming out of this flask I don't see a whole bunch of solids down in the bottom of this flask which is a good sign that means we're getting it out of here by uh, filtering it let's try it one more time pull it through the same filter a third time And I think what I may have here in this solution that's causing it to look dark like that is a very fine suspension of another platinum group metal, possibly the iridium or one of the other ones that may be present. And it suspends in the solution like ink. And there's no way to get it out of there. We're gonna try to pour it right back through this same filter a third time now. Here you 
you can see the filtrate has got something in it. Like I said, it might be that ink suspension. And this could be a deal breaker for completing the hydrolysis now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, pull it off because I do not know how to get that suspension out of there. go from here I've had this through the filter about three times now and we were able to get some uh, some more of the black stuff out of there down in the bottom of our filter it's gonna set this back out of the way I'm not quite sure what to do next on how to get the uh, suspension out of my platinum solution here so we're going to try a little experiment Set one of our beakers up here. Tear the scale to zero. Let's get a weight on our liquid. 69.3 take a little out of here add some of it into this container try to even them out all right there's 272.8 75. Let's take a little bit out of here. Put it in here. It's 274. Two seventy-four. Perfect. Okay, we've got it equalized out here. We'll take each one of the solutions, put it down into the bucket in our centrifuge here we go put the lid down and lock it now let's go ahead and uh, got the speed set fairly low here Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and give it a ride in the centrifuge. See if we can get some of that suspension to settle out of our liquid. The time is 2 p.m. We're just going to let this ride at a low speed. It's been in there now about a half an hour run between 900 and 1000 rpm i'm going to shut this off now we'll let this wind down and get in there and see if we've got any kind of uh, result i'm predicting that it won't work because that suspension is like ink we'll let it wind down and look in here and see what we got let's get in here and see what we got Let's see if we've got any of this stuff settled out absolutely not just like I predicted 
It's such a fine material that it's like like ink. Like trying to get the black to settle out of ink. So this was a fail. Well, I didn't think that centrifuge was going to do anything for us, but I figured we'd give it a shot. I'm at a complete loss now on what to do next. So I'm going to seal these up, do a little more research, try to figure out how to proceed with this. Uh, in the meantime, if there's anyone in the comment section that can give me some suggestions on how to get that uh, suspension out of there and uh, I've been working on this for two weeks now my wife is starting to get angry nothing else is getting done <laughs> so I may have to just call it and uh, admit defeat here and not be able to uh, accomplish the hydrolysis like I planned but for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. My daughter and her husband are taking us out to a steak place tonight to have a nice evening meal together. So we're going to go enjoy ourselves at that meal. This will conclude part five of the uh, Platinum Refining Bromate Hydrolysis series of videos. Thanks for watching.